was his name And he served on the line of chain Till Brenda's evidence came And dug up the truth on him Back then you'd be surprised We was homeless Was a special time But April Rail Gringo it fell It's a time I remember oh so well One take. It's time for my favorite time of the week when you get to hear Papa try to speak. Will he surprise us today? You better act or watch 10 minutes of shot. Welcome back to 10 minutes of shot. Thanks for tuning in. As always, join the Patreon if you'd like. We've been reviewing stand up specials. The most recent one was. You'd be surprised, <laughs> yeah. which was so good. It was so hard to get through. That. So hard to get. Th- yeah. So it's very hard to sit through. Yeah. But uh, I just want to say a thank you to all the people that subscribed to the podcast because I mean to the Patreon because you know with your help we were able to actually get another mat yeah. to put on top of the mat that was already there. Yeah, we're working three mats deep right there. Yeah, there's about th- and there's also soundproofing now too. Yeah. You know, it's very hard to afford a podcast studio, so we're building it up. You know, we're trying to build up the ground that everybody walks on, and we got um, this soundproofing thing, so this is going to help out a lot with the sound. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been drilling down the soundproofing things. Yeah, we got the, as you the can drill see. right there. Yeah, yeah, and we can't do that yep. without your help. So anyways, but that's not why you're here, though. I just wanted to say thank you. You just awesome. want to thank him. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I got yeah. one. I got a couple mats myself. And I just want to say that all the mats were Gerardo's doing. <laughs> but anyway, you fucking bitch. That's not me. This is how the room was before I got here, dude. <laughs> yeah, painted narrative, I'd say. <laughs> Ever heard of it? <laughs> Gerardo did all of it. Um, we changed the cameras <laughs> one week and it exposes your lack. I didn't even realize those are bad mats for soundproofing. <laughs> <laughs> The sound is so good. I walked in this room. I was like, this room has good sound. All right. But anyways, that's not why you're here, dude. No. You're not here for that. You're here to watch 10 minutes of shop. So play the chin clip. Start the timer now. <laughs> All right. So uh, the first clip is posted by Pharrell 80s. It's called the Rogan laugh phase has to be up there as one of the most whack job things he's ever done to try and go viral. Lopez. <laughs> I did the meds. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, he doesn't try to go viral with the Rogan laugh, does he? I don't. I don't know, but he does it a lot. Yeah, yeah. The Rogan laugh is kind of like his um, seven times a week. <laughs> That's his also, though. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that is it. Yeah, <laughs> they're right. both his. Here goes. You're on GT3. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take it easy, Brent. <laughs> Brent, take it easy. <laughs> Brent, Brent, take it easy. GT2, Chin, you're oh hilarious God. today. Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I see a ton of people making Tiger King shirts and shit. Yeah, and by that we mean Tom Segura. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I meant! That's exactly what I meant! Who? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Rogan right there. Who, Tom Segura, who, whatever you factor in, Bert. Every time we watch a clip that we've seen, it's like it's like Groundhog Day. Yeah. But Groundhog Day is a great movie. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I enjoy it again. I like. <laughs> I, I watched the Gringo Poppy earlier today, dude. I know. Yeah, you watched it for inspiration about something that we may drop at a later date. So yes. keep an eye out for that. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be huge yeah. when it happens. It's just as big as the mats. Oh yeah. It could. Well, I don't know. It could be. It could be bigger. Could be bigger than the mats. Yeah. Um, all right, so we got the next clip. Oh fuck! This is. I want to. I want to thank everyone. We got a lot more uh, wires and stuff. Also, not just mats. Yeah, in so. reality, we did actually get new stuff. We got lights mounted to the walls now. The rod mounted to the walls. You don't care about any of that. Nah. But there's mounts now, so thank you for that. Yeah. All right. So this next clip is posted by uh, Vanilla Cupcake. It's called Tom Bout apologizing for canceling European tour dates. Not one of our guys, B. <laughs> we should be watching his special pretty soon here. Right. Let's see what this is about. 
It's for the beautiful people of London and Amsterdam. Uh, I wanted to apologize for canceling the shows in September. I'm sure you got an email about it already, but I wanted to personally say I'm sorry for fucking you in the ass and betraying you, even though you are beloved to me. <laughs> I honestly just fucked up my timing this summer, mismanaged my shit. I got busy as fuck. I was supposed to take it easy and prepare for this tour and really have my shit ready to launch in London and Amsterdam, but I'm just not ready. I haven't done stand up in months. I haven't worked on my act in months. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny he hasn't done stand-up in a while brendan has done stand-up like every night <laughs> you know and still the reason he cancels because no one's coming <laughs> that's if people are dying to see staff he has like i haven't done stand-up in a few years but uh, i'm sorry i can't so i'm a piece of shit <laughs> brendan's like i have done stand-up every night but my son needs to know how to play t-ball all right you're good and it would, the shows would have been pretty fucking dog shit. <laughs> and I would have just basically been taking your money to finance a European vacation. And I would nice. feel bad about doing that. <laughs> so it breaks my heart. I wanted to be there. I, I wanted to fucking have some fish and chips. Uh, fuck, maybe one of those bitches that wears too much makeup, a oh. chav or whatever the fuck they call them. <laughs> I wanted to fucking get on a bike ride in Amsterdam, up the canals, do some mushrooms maybe. Check out some of the other industries in your city. And I've canceled that. I'm not going on the vacation anymore. I'm just trying to... I'm taking the extra time off to prepare for the tour so I don't fuck that up too. Mm. So uh, I'm really sorry. I love you. Please find it in your hearts to forgive me. <laughs> and I hope to launch a real European tour that I will not back out on uh, very soon. Stay tuned. I love you. I'm sorry again. Bye-bye. Well, bye. he's not one of our guys, but yeah. and I don't really... You know, know him. Always a great guy. Yeah. Um, but I like having not really know much about him. I've already forgiven him from this thing. Yeah. I forgive, him. and yeah. I'm not even. I don't have anything to do with European tours. Yeah. I'm not there, B. I'm in New England. Yeah. I mean, for me, that's a continent, not the, not the state. Absolutely. So I mean, <laughs> it's so stupid. I forgive him. Yeah. This T-shirt is backwards. Uh huh. So everyone can see the Gringo Poppy. But shout out, to, of course, to Brendan Walsh. Oh yeah. For World Record Pod for buying us more merch. So, Brandon thank Walsh, you. Thank great you, comic. Brandon. Never thank seen him, him but never, uh, never seen him. The Dicey shirt, also. The Dicey shirt is legitimately a good shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, too, Brendan Walsh called me out last week. Uh, oh, yeah. He was like, yo, dude, uh, why aren't you wearing the fucking shirts I got you? <laughs> Without like, the customer. Listen, Brendan, be <laughs> cool. <laughs> we can't wear yeah. them every time. Yeah. This shirt is too tight, even though it said it was large. So, I literally uh, had to do laundry just so I could not piss off Brendan. That's good that you did it. Though. Yeah. You're that white boy that worked too Typically, much. don't do a lot of laundry during the week. <laughs> um, but all right, let's go to the next clip. Um, this next one's called Two More Shows Canceled. Oh, God, no, dude. No, dude. It's posted by All I Do Is Lie good To dude. You. Good dude. Is this their new set? No. No, the- it's, I think it's this guy's show, maybe. Oh, okay. I'm let's, guessing. Let's see. And then it's Omaha, Nebraska, and Kansas City. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, dude. Both of them. Let's see. Covina on September 8th. So that means. Oh, so he's going to do the Laugh Factory thing? I think the Laugh Factory and Covina. Yeah, see, September 8th. So he canceled both those. Wait, let's go back. Is he still going to Skank Fest? Is that yet to happen? September 8th. Oh, so he has no tickets available for those. Basically, is what they're saying. Damn, yes. dude. Skank Fest is September 29th. I wish I could go to all of them. Yeah. Liberty Township? Yeah. Sign me up, B. Well, he, they're going to be in Covina, dude. We can go to the... Uh-oh. Mm. I've never seen the Laugh Factory in Covina yet. I haven't been. Great me, place. Me neither. Um, all right. So this next one's called Bapa Admits T-Fat K Has Fallen on Hard Times. <laughs> <laughs> Posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. Let's see here. And he's like, do you know... Uh, have you ever listened to Fighter and the Kid? Because I had just started to... Like, bro, you ever heard of podcasts? And uh, he's like, man, my favorite one's the fighter and the kid. And we're listening to you guys the whole way back. So the fact that That's we cool. are sitting here right now <laughs> is insane. That's so awesome. And now cool. you guys are bigger. And you guys are, you guys are with night. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? And now you guys are bigger than us. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that's funny. No, we we're are just not. Nine, nine, saying, 900 and something episodes, right? What is it? Oh, yeah. Nah. 900 and oh, something episodes. Nine, nine, more than we're, that. Over, we're over, way over that. Yeah, Because that's not counting the days in Brian's garage, the Fox episodes. Yeah. We're, we're, we're. I mean, but the fact. Like, dude, imagine we get to 900 episodes of 10 minutes of shop, dude. I mean, that would be crazy. Yeah. 
But we have work ethic, and you know, our, we want to keep it going. So. I think this is number 65, right? What's that? 65 episodes so far? Oh, I'm not really a numbers guy. So. Oh, my yeah. God, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's see there is. Oh, come on. Back to, like, you guys are fucking... Still, yeah, still, alive. still doing it. Yep. Yeah, I know. Still doing it, crushing it. Thanks. And when you, really you're doing all right. you. and when you came through Nashville, I'm on some hard time. <laughs> I know. No, no, you. I know. Keep going. Keep going. When you came. Oh, oh my God! Man. Trying to be funny, but also it just comes off sad. Yeah, dude. When people say, "Oh, you're still doing it," it's like, why don't you just stab me? <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Still doing Locked it. Locked episodes. Yeah. We're, we're, I mean, 900 and something episodes, right? What is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. 900 oh, something episodes. Oh, we're, we're, over, we're over, way over that. Yeah, Because that's that. not counting mm-hmm. the days in Brian's garage, the Fox oh, episodes. Yeah. We're, we're, I mean, but the fact 14, that, like, you guys are fucking still, yeah, still, alive. still doing it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts even me. <laughs> yeah. God. When is somebody going to give us that sit down and be like, you know, 200 episodes of 10 minutes of shake still hey, doing hey. it. Well, we're yeah. on the upswing kind of, so, you know. It's, it's like, be cool, Luke Schwartz. You Once it goes mean? down, then we can, one of us can play Bapa and be like, yeah, no, we'll have on another <laughs> podcast and be like, now you're bigger than us. <laughs> yeah. So I guess <laughs> no one knows. Posted by All I Do Is Lie To You. It's called Brenda Revisits His Shock in Finding Out Professional Comedy Isn't a Team Sport Like It Was Under Toe's Tiny Wing. Like, to me, it was, in, it's like when people hated on CM Punk, I was like, you wouldn't do it? Like, you wouldn't jump to the front of the queue if they're offering you $2 million to fight in the UFC? Like, everyone would hate on CM Punk. And I, did, I was like, oh, who gives a fuck? Like, they're, they're giving the opportunity. You wouldn't do it? So, for me, I didn't realize they hate on. <laughs> do you notice he has two C clamps as opposed to one? So, this is a very important issue to him. Okay. Yeah. That's how he denotes importance. Yes. The amount of C clamps he puts up. Yeah. Uh, before you know it, he's going to have a, a C clamp and a die clamp for for dicey, dicey, right? <laughs> I would love that. Yes. We'll match the shirt, B. I'll be here all week, folks. <laughs> yeah. Get from other comics because of some of the opportunities Jake that I Paul, got. He gets a lot of hate now. Not sure. Yeah. Different, but it was just, I, I didn't expect that. Because in sports, like we support each other. Like, fuck yeah. Like when, when I knew Will had an athletic background, he did too. I'm like, those are my guys. Mm-hmm. Like when any when any <laughs> fighter gets in a podcast, I'm like, what can I do? Gives <laughs> <What's laughs> him podcast in. Is he, he helps out a lot of fighters with their podcasts. He's got a black belt. Yeah. He's like, I know you just started, but I got a <laughs> black belt. So here's what you do. Talk yeah. about numbers. Yeah. Call people gay. Go All to right? SeaWorld. Go to, yeah. <laughs> Go to SeaWorld before you start anything. <laughs> yeah. Look at the fish. Yeah. I'm balls deep in fish myself. <laughs> you can't offer advice. And like, how could you not expect to be hated on? Yeah. I expect to be hated on and I'm not famous. Yeah. Shab, I was not surprised. Well, I was actually a little surprised when people said I had small teeth and big gums. <laughs> but um, now I'm not. It didn't take me long to get over the shock of it. Yeah. You know, I just didn't know that those were things. But I expected to be made fun of. Mm-hmm. Right? Didn't you? Well, yeah. I mean, every day I make fun of myself. I'm like... You know, as a comic, you hate yourself every day, right? Um, at times, but I don't know if it has anything to do with open mics. Mm, or like you're comedy. Right, dude. I should probably go, go back to therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go back to your uh, three tooth th- therapist. <laughs> therapist. <laughs> All right, let's go. How can I help you? Comedy's a little different. It's a little different because it's like a- <laughs> he's hitting all the the hits. You yeah, know? yeah. Different. The key phrases. Yeah. Do you think he's ever hit uh, open mic before? Um, that's a good question. I I think probably, uh, but he probably was like, nah, yeah, because he can just get on. Rogan has deigned him the next thing, so he can do whatever he wants. No, for sure. Fat people are like, fuck that. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, it's like a crab mentality a little bit. Crab? Yeah, it doesn't And I didn't expect that. I'm, I'm, and also, like, when the pandemic hit and, you know, some, some of our buddies got cans, stuff like that, I'm like, rally the cans. troops. Boys, <laughs> let's rally up. Right. Some people got cans? Right? I don't know what he's talking yeah. about. Some of my homies got cans and stuff. Oh, got fired. Canceled. Oh, yeah. canceled. canceled. Oh, yeah. that's Can- what he's talking yeah. about? Yeah. Oh, of course. Said, some band. friends are getting cans and stuff. <laughs> Dalia, the diddler? Yeah. Fight against them. Where's everybody? Yeah. The fuck are we doing? Where's the boys uh, at? <laughs> like, no, that's can, how we work. You can see right. one time. That's how we operate. Yeah. It's well, tough when, to when, when, <laughs> They don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the football guys are like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Hmm, interesting, mm. right? Yeah, like, Chin, what's the next clip? Huh? <laughs> yeah. You guys got canceled, huh? <laughs> I thought we were going to fight. I didn't realize I was going to go back to that. <laughs> what happened? 
Oh, really, dude? <laughs> All right. So this next one's uh, posted by Parrot underscore hyphen underscore hyphen underscore. It's called Brendan Schaub is a wordsmith. And it looks like it's blurred out. I don't know why, though. Let's see. Ready? Hmm. I'd say one of the coolest things I've ever done, though, is when, thirsty. when I was in the S- Sahara, Nevada. <laughs> Sierra, Nevada. Sahara, Nevada. <laughs> Sierra, Nevada. Sierra. <laughs> Sahara, Nevada. <laughs> Hanging out with them is kind of like being a tutor. Yeah. You have to watch and, and politely tell them, no, 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 Sierra Nevada. I will say this, dude. I don't know if you want to do this bit right now or not, but what? I don't know if you're aware of uh, Judge Judy. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. What are your thoughts on Judge Judy? She's pretty entertaining. Yes. Seems fair. But she has a new show. It's called uh, Justice Judy. No way. Yeah. Or Judy Justice, dude. Judy Justice. Judy Justice. Okay. And it made me laugh very hard last night because then I started doing things like, oh, shit, did she get Benny the Bailiff too? Just like a bunch of alliteration. Wow. (laughs) Sit in it. (laughs) Sit in it. (laughs) Well, she did get Plaintiff Penny for the first case. So what do you? Okay. (laughs) But Danny, the defendant came in and really, you know, was able to fight against him. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Arbiter Andy, uh, you didn't really have any. Arbiter? Arbiter. Arbiter. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. It's just alliteration with uh, t- court terms. Oh, okay. Did you like it? No? <laughs> you didn't even try once. I I heard it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, the- and it um, it was a special time. Well, as say that. jury on the, Justin on the jury, if, if you liked it, dude, you know what I mean? This is getting like the gringo poppy. Are you going to do 25 minutes of this? I can do 24 <laughs> minutes, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's All right, go back. Foods. The Sierra. The Sahara is a what desert. talking about fraternally? Fraternally. Fraternally. Is that what you say? Fraternity? Another uh, thing on Netflix would be the, the series Chairs. <laughs> Chairs. The cheerleaders? Oh, cheer. 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 Yeah, with cheerleaders. Cheer. No. But what I'm saying is everyone's hot, everyone's fair. It's all about no, the I'm not saying- I and the beauty beholder. <laughs> Dude, what I, I like to use the shots, so the pink lemonade shots. I take one shot mm. and daddy's ready to go. I turn to Elon Musk for about twenty minutes and then it runs out. It's the best Doesn't he look like shit right there? Oh he does. God. Yeah, I think yeah. That's the Jesus point they're Christ. going for. It's focus product I've ever used. Best part, it's all natural. Visit happy hippo herbals. E- uh. Herbals. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you say herbal still, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's herbal, but still. It's all the shit. Still. <laughs> like he's been doing it for a while. Like still. haters, right? They were remain unanimous, stuff like yeah. this. And you're not unanimous. unanimous. Is that wrong? I was thinking anonymous, not. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They were, <clears throat> remain unanimous, all the stuff. Unanimous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we unanimously think that's funny that you say it like that. <laughs> yeah. The two Names. of us. Dude, everything they eat, bean cheese, bean <laughs> cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese. Bean cheese, bean cheese. Like, the, you know, you order favorite. the alcohol on the list, and it was like, you know, uh, Modella, $18. <laughs> I'm not going to list of some rich person tell me how I should vote or yeah. how I should handle this situation. It's like, you were born with a spoon in your mouth. I'm not going to list it. <laughs> born with a spoon in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All rich people are eating right away. That's true. Yeah. You right. Silver spoon. Hey, I don't. I don't relate to yeah. any spoon. I don't relate to. <laughs> I don't relate to any spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Spoons. Ever heard of them? Or forks? <laughs> ever heard of them? In any facet, you know what I'm saying. But you've walked the walk, so same. Right. So go to onit.com/shop. S E H A B. Receive ten percent off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> off. Everything. Supplements. If we talk to this that. doctor over here, now we have an epidemic. Now we have. Ep- <laughs> <laughs> he's so serious he's making serious points but saying the words all wrong yeah you sound like a moron yeah and he doesn't and never sinks in with him <laughs> he's never like maybe i shouldn't speak on this <laughs> maybe i should stick to sports or yeah. whatever him and brian do on the show yeah he should take a trip over to lenny the linguist you know what i mean you should <laughs> should take a trip over to the uh the bookstore or like a library, yeah. you know, and read. Yeah, read for a long time. <laughs> to epidemic. <a> bell- <laughs> an epidemic. <laughs> an epidemic. <laughs> it's a my bad. It's not an epidemic. It's an epidemic. <laughs> it's an epidemic. <laughs> no, you're right though. Well, it was just kind of the escape goat. Yeah. Escape goat. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's yeah, theater. He's an escape I, goat. I'll tell you the coolest. <laughs> he's an escape goat, dude. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That was a a well organized dish there. A great job, Perry. Like a seven course meal. Yeah, you know when you you know those pre- prefix menus. Prefix. A, yeah, prefix is like um, everything's picked out, and you like get two choices, and you go through it like. Oh, like a tasting menu. Appetizer, lunch, or I mean not lunch, but appetizer, main course, dessert, that kind of thing. Oh, okay. You have no choice. Well, you get to choose between two things, but like both ways. You could have it either way. Mm. For sure, B. I'll just believe you on that. <laughs> <laughs> this next one's posted by Parrot uh, underscore hyphen underscore hyphen underscore hyphen again. Uh, Shab lies about 40-yard dash time and gets laughed at by Taylor, then dodges vertical th- talk and tr- transitions with awkward question. Here we go. The thing I'm dash. alluding to right now is he did that at a pro day. And a pro day, I've heard numbers can get a little different. I didn't run at a pro day, so I don't know. What'd you, but, what'd you run in? <laughs> such a dick. What'd you run in? I ran a 485. 485. Yeah. At the okay. combine. At his size, the combine's 310. When you go to the, the combine, the, you look down at the pro day. Because the pro day, you have, yeah. you have all the scouts there, and, and a lot of them do it by hand. Okay. You know what? Uh, I'll be first to admit, my ego's gotten in the way in this conversation already. I'll, I digress. <laughs> I, I, can, I can totally see what you did. But, but, but it's Nebraska like wasting laser, a whole village and going, ah, maybe that yep. shouldn't What was your vertical? You had a, you had a, a saucy. Yeah, that's a saucy vertical. 32? Yeah. That's very respectful. Yeah, Thank that's you. fucking nice. Beat my numbers. I was, I was a 4'6 guy. But I'll tell you this on the vertical. My vertical was never 32. It's like when they measure you, you're like, you, you got to cheat. You got to cheat. Your shoulder down. You got to cheat. Yeah. Now, are you boys playing with the football season Kinda coming cheap. up? Are you guys <laughs> planning to? Because you were going to. The, are you going to do like live shows at the games? Are you going to do some of that? Like, once you go into camps, like some of the training to camps, our college tailgate. Wait, so what was he lying about? I don't know. That all I assume is that Brendan saying that he ran a four six, whatever that means, is a lie. Oh, okay. but what I did get from that clip is that we can start using saucy for things. Yes. If Brendan does a really good joke, he's a saucy comic. Yeah. I like that. Well, he's got a saucy vertical. I heard. Yeah, <laughs> even though they're not one of our guys, I'm going to take that saucy mm-hmm. and I'm going to use it just like I use straight talk wireless. <laughs> that's another great phrase. Who said that? Some guy that was saying that Brendan isn't funny to Theo. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's straight talk wireless. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, I'm going to be honest with you. Straight talk wireless. Brendan sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he's blockbuster. All right. This next clip is posted by Haphazard. A great guy. Never met him. It's called Bapa Never Misses Podcast and Never Cancels Stand Up Dates. I just oh hap, yeah nice be cool hap. <laughs> Let's see, Shab is not here. Whoa. History in the making. First golden hour with no Shab. He is. Uh, oh, is the first the first, his- What's the worst? Let me tell you what the worst thing I could ever hear at the beginning of a clip is Shab is not here. <laughs> do you agree or do you have another thing? Um, uh, as far as golden hour goes. Just in general, and probably in any clip that we watch. <laughs> Shab is not here. I don't. Oh, yeah. I kind of want him there. <laughs> I right? kind of don't want to be here either. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, that tops the cake, B. Yeah. Whatever that saying is. <laughs> <laughs> Firing on all cil- cinders. Cinders. It's scapegoat. Here we go. Did he ever not come for anything? Yeah, one time. Oh, okay. One t- was it me, you? No. It was me and... Theo, maybe I don't know. I don't remember, but hmm. there was one time he didn't come, right? I thought I thought he never missed a show. I don't think maybe not. This yeah. is a di- unprecedented, <laughs> I right? He did. I thought he. Did. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, he had something that he forgot about, like a yeah. ding bat, and so we're here. <laughs> but this is the Patreon, yeah. uh, so we're here for the uh, Patreon, icy, and we're here. Icy. It's me and Eric Griffin, yeah. and look, we're no strangers to the podcast game. So come on and relax and be comfortable, <laughs> dude. We both have solo casts. Just relax. It's going to be fine. It's just going to be like normal, okay? Don't stress out. Don't be flipping the just, channel. Just for just for no reason, we're like looking here like, is he going to say something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm redacted, but I'm just now realizing that Shab is the star of this show. Yeah. Like it, He's almost, or not just that, he's kind of like the boss. Yeah. Like how Alex Jones is the boss of his thing. So they all kind of have to pitter-patter around him. And if he's not there and... The chin has to say something like, no, he does every show. Yeah. He's always here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's great. He's never done anything wrong. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's an epidemic if he's not there. Dude. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Uh, it'd be funny. He, it'd be funny he still interrupts us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a call. Hold on a second. Where that Brandon? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Ah, this is great. Now I wonder can, if he'll watch this or not. We could probably talk so much shit about him. He'll never no. know. He'll never know. Now the trolls will hit him. He'll know. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. 
Do you take the, oh be cool, Montez? I know naming the waters against the cats. Dude, something tells me that none of them like the trolls. Be but what are the trolls? Because yeah, we're the cats, right? We're not. Trolls. I don't know. Are we trolls? I guess that's not for us to decide. Yeah, write in the comments. If I told you I was a troll, you would agree. <laughs> oh, this this clip is dicey, dicey, B. We saw this. Haven't seen the clip yet, but we saw that it's him doing stand up. We I miss these, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. These are the best. Yeah. These are always a special time. Yeah. Is this the uh, Covina Laugh Factory? Maybe. That, maybe. I think you might. Yeah, I think you might have got it. Got the best brains, B. Yeah. Uh, this one's posted by Parrot again, dude. It's called Brendan Schaub. Uncomfortable crowd work. I don't know why there's parentheses there. There we go. Let's see here. Looks like your son. What are, what are you, a fucking model? You're distracting, dude. What are you, a model? What are you, what are you the next Captain America? What's happening right now? Are you the voice of the new Buzz Lightyear? You're... We've seen this before, dude. Yeah. Is this the same one or is he no. just doing it again? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is not the same one. So he's just a separate, he's found a separate hot dude. Yeah. <laughs> and he's uncomfortably hitting on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a what a master of the arts, yes. you know, just to be able to say something as funny as like a guy is really hot. Yeah. When you're not gay. That's so something only a thousand. I mean, honestly, you, I thought you were going to say it's brave. Oh, no, no. There's nothing brave about it. <laughs> no, it's the part of this thing from brave, but it is brilliant. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Original and clever. Let's see. Sir, you are breathtaking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even the cadence is someone else's. Yeah. I contain this erection, but these fucking tight pants are giving it away. When you're not funny, it's easy to go too far because <laughs> you don't know what you're saying. You're just copying other people. Yeah. You can't realize what you're doing wrong because you don't have, like, the brain power to do it. <laughs> so it's like you get off stage, and then you don't know whether you did bad or good. So somebody comes up to talk to you, and they're like, hey, man. They can't really make eye contact with you for too long because you just said that you got an erection staring at another guy. <laughs> and, oh, I, oh, man, yeah, the crowd, they're pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah, you did great. No one will confront him and be like, you have to stop doing that. I'm going to do that for you, Brendan. Stop. I said it before. I hope you listen this time. Yeah. No more of this. This is the worst thing that you do. Maybe the racism is worse. <laughs> But this is second at least. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I think you should stop. First of all, if you get an erection on stage, just don't talk about it, dude. Just be like, <laughs> like honestly, maybe have the erection power you forward into some other material. You know what I mean? Dude, I got a boner right now. <laughs> it's not because that guy's hot because I'm not like, I'm not in That's him. what he does after you have a pep talk with him. He says like everything's <laughs> not happening because of this. Yeah. This guy may be hot as fuck, but I'm not horny. I of just this. need you to know. I'm literally, I'm not attracted to that guy. He's yeah. hot, but I like chicks. You all know this. I mean, I look, I like baddies. And Addies. And Addies. <laughs> Lean into it, Brendan. What are you drinking? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Oh, that looks like a nice little glass, though. <laughs> Maybe some Tiger Thick? Yeah, some Tiger Thick and a little wine glass or something. Oh, dude, if we get at least like two more patrons today, I'll buy some Tiger th uh, Tiger Thick glasses, dude. I want, I've want. i been oh, yeah? seeing... I, I watched the Gringo Poppy right. earlier today, and I don't think it was even like a Tiger Thick glass, but I'm like, dude, we should be ha we should be drinking out of that, B. I mean, if we get more Patreon subs, we'll get more of this. Oh, I know yeah. you guys love this, and yeah. thank you for the comments. Yeah. Um, we're going to get way more of this stuff. And for audio only on Spotify, he's pointing at the mats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which I haven't uploaded in three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that soon. All right, here goes. You guys should all get a good look at this gentleman out there. I don't know what you do, man, but the sky is the limit, my man. I mean, the next Top Gun? Fuck sakes, dude. Yeah. Look at how much it says dime piece. That'd be fucking Oh, sick. my God, dude. This is awful. Who edited the captions for... Even the guy with... The, dude, even the guy editing the captions is complicit here. Yeah, he's doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He should be like, uh, why don't we just do another bit? That'd be fucking sick. And then sick <laughs> yeah. is huge. Yeah. No one is like, you guys are redacts. Don't do that. <laughs> it makes it so much worse yeah. than it's already really bad, but then sick is like half the screen. <laughs> Anyone who's not completely redacted watches this and goes, no, no. Oh my God, dude. It's so it's infuriating because what part of his audience is watching this? Like, dude, this is why I love this guy. He, yeah. he talks about hot dudes in the front row. Other dude. people with brain damage or, <laughs> you know, lack of school or common sense. But I will say, you know how like uh, maybe you'll see like, you know, how they're making the Joker two right now with Joaquin Phoenix. You'll see like set photos and stuff and you'll be like, oh, you kind of get amped for it. Right. Mm -hmm. This is making me very really excited for his next special, dude. 
You know what I mean? Okay, one devil's advocate. There are people that just don't know comedy at all, maybe. Yeah. Like, they never watch it because they're busy being normal human beings doing their job and stuff, and maybe they've never, ever heard someone do this bit where it's like, oh, you're actually really hot. Maybe that's funny for them the first time. I don't know, but this is just so bad. Well, either way, dude, devil's advocate or not, it sucks. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I said that. But did you hear what I said? What? That I'm excited for the next fucking special. Like, this is like a little sneak peek into what we're getting, dude. This is what he's <laughs> cooking up. You know what I mean? You're right, dude. Yeah. I, 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 I'm sorry I missed that. No, that's a good point. <laughs> it could. This could be Gringo Poppy 3 territory. Two, two, dude. Let's be realistic. Oh, yeah. Why did I say three? <laughs> for to me, the Gringo Poppy is two specials. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dude. It's like, I'm not even gay, but fuck, dude. Oh, my God. How he many, has to say that. How many fucking times has he said that in his life, dude? I'm not even gay, dude. <laughs> oh, then it's even more funny. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's actually less funny. Yeah. You, know what's, you know what makes things more funny, dude? Fucking good mats that are soundproofing. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Dude, a few drinks and it's going down, homeboy. Oh. You drinks going down, Maverick. You know what I'm so saying? So he's dude? saying that if he gets too drunk, he's going to fuck that guy? Yeah. Yeah, Inter- dude. Interesting. Hey, hey, Brendan, keep up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You'll light you up, B. You're Your right. bottom gun, you feel me? <laughs> bottom gun. Bottom gun. Oh, my God. So pre written gay jokes. Dude, that's another Mexican cookie. That's like a white person's Mexican cookie. Bottom gun, dude. Yeah, that's bad. Dude. I didn't think he could do more Gringo Poppy stuff, bro. That's awesome. This is awesome. He was in the writing room and someone pitched Bottom Gun. Yeah. Which is like, I'm sure other people have said that, but it's so bad. You know what Brendan Chop said when they said that? He's like, "Mm, not gay enough. But then he had it in the back of his mind when he was on stage. He just stole it so he didn't have to pay for it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Let's see. (laughs) Where was I? Oh, you're distracting, dude. Oh, my God. You're like a hot Medusa. Get out of here, bro. Get your dick out of my face, dude. Medusa would turn you to stone, though. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, that's it. probably what he's trying to say is that he's hard as a stone right now. He's hard as a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's look, you've seen him already, so yeah. uh, you'd be stone. Yeah. Right? I mean, I think you'd be surprised, dude. Yeah. You know? Maybe there's I'm surprised. something more to the I bit. can't believe I'm surprised by this. <laughs> This is we've made we've talked about how bad this is, and he's doing it to another level right now. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, man! You try to. Kill. I'm just gonna hold this here so it blocks you out. Again? You are one lucky lady. Do not leave your man around me. Bro, he's gay, dude. It's. I mean, yeah. if you do this, like to me, that's like gay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not even in a... It's not bad. It's just... No. It's like, I'm pretty sure he's... Like, we just watched... It, You'd be surprised on the Patreon, right? But I don't think he's gay, though. I think he thinks this is funny. Like I was saying, we just watched You'd Be Surprised on the Patreon. Yeah. Dude, he is probably gay, dude. Like, after watching the You'd Be Surprised, I'm like, oh, people say it, like, on Chang's or whatever. Mm-hmm. We're watching this now, and it's like solidifying in my mind that he's gay. He feels comfortable doing that. Bisexual, I think. Oh, you're right. I'm, yeah. I, I don't know. I've thought about it for a minute now. Yeah. Because he's into both. I forgot both. there's two different kinds. I thought there was <laughs> LGBTQ. So I forgot the B is different than the G. I guarantee you he doesn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, if you talk about it this much, yeah. if you talk about how guys are hot and you fuck your friends, um, at some point... It's got to be yeah, actual, your heart is a truth. rock. You know what yeah. I mean? Like boner alert. They get excited about that. You know, they're talking about how like guests they want to have on the podcast. That boner alert. They'll fuck yeah. the shit out of them and stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I forgot it. They would say like guys that yeah. like football players they want on because they're hot. All right, let's keep going. This is a long clip. It's making me happy. B. <laughs> so right now you live in the green room. It's going down. Dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm a black belt karate. <laughs> He's gonna. I don't know if that means anything. Force him to have sex with him? Is that the. (laughs) This is the diciest of material right here. He just goes, B. Okay, be cool. Right. Do you think Bud Light's gonna come in on this? Is there gonna be a Bud Light riff? Dude, best brains, bro. And if it doesn't, though, that's a good option. I mean, it might not. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Got quite the life, my man. Are you an actor? Are you a model? 
dude, I, I'm going to call Tommy Hilfiger up when we leave here. Like, Hold on. I got what? the guy. Sorry to pause it again. But so do you think, because he's if he is actually bisexual, it's secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think the pink hat is kind of, not that, I mean, wearing a pink, I think pink is a fine color to wear. Uh, it doesn't matter. But uh, do you think it's like a, like a signal? No, I think it's more of a fashion choice. I don't think even him, I don't think it's a conscious choice that he's bisexual. You know what I mean? I just think that he's not fully comfortable with his own sexuality. Mm -hmm. So he does these things to find some sort of semblance of comfort. You know what I mean? Right. He gets to live out his fantasy without actually experiencing it. Yeah. Like it being too scary for him. (laughs) But I'm here to tell him, dude, like stop doing this on stage. Do it in real life, dude. You know what I mean? Like that's probably going to make you feel better. Try it out. Maybe your comedy will get better too. I mean, shop talking about actual gay experiences may be really funny. Yeah. We not, we I will. mean, you know what I mean? Probably not because yeah. he's not good at stand-up and he's he'll a, just make anything bad. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, it could be fun. He would just be like the the most stereotypically awful gay comic ever. But we'll, I don't know, we'd have to see it to know. Let's see. Bro. You know who could use his Abercrombie? I don't know if you saw that documentary. Oh. I need some help. It's Shit, all to get into jail. like another yeah. Netflix viewing thing. All his stand-up <laughs> specials are like things that his wife has had him watch with her. her. <laughs> Dude, the writer strike is gonna severely affect his stand-up. Yeah, not putting, what's he gonna do? Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna have to try and read a book for the first time. <laughs> They're not putting content out. Brendan is shitting bricks, bro. He's like, yeah. what? You know? He starts watching us. <laughs> <laughs> There's these guys that, bro. I mean, there's been so many movies. Or what were you gonna say? If he starts doing bits about us and it's in the special, that would be awesome. Oh my God. Please, Brendan, we're begging you, dude. But we don't matter. Yeah. We don't count. You know, we don't There's matter. so many movies from the 90s and 80s he can go to. Yeah. There's a lot of he can riff on that he hasn't seen. Let's see here. Maybe even SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> they are the all time low, man. That Blackfish doc really fucked them. Jeez. She fuck Shamu. What's your name? Okay, really quick. I, I'm I'm looking forward to the answer to what's your name, but, bro, I want you to put, can you close your eyes real quick? So put your thinking cap on and, uh, dude, you're at a Brendan Shop show, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, you're sitting there. He's talking about how big somebody's dick is, whatever, right? Right. And then he brings up black rock, blackfish. What do you do? Just cheer violently. Yeah, yeah dude. I would be like so amped. I'd be like, here we go, strap the fuck in. <laughs> yeah, you know, dude, that's like going to AMC and seeing Nicole Kidman. You know what's gonna happen. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, right, right, right. The new Nicole Kidman thing, whenever they make it, is gonna be like the next Ringo Poppy. Yeah, let's see here. Garrett, fuck yeah. <laughs> is he yeah. hot? Is he hot? I'm just gonna put you in a bathing suit. Come see Garrett jump into the water. <laughs> Why do they just show a kid? I don't know. That was weird. That was weird. Just fucking splashing around, short shorts. Fucking, your girl's all mad. Like fuck, whatever. Tossing fish in the water and you don't even eat them. Just fucking, just chum in the water. I don't even. I have no idea what he's talking about now. Dude, me and Brendan Chobb have the same ism when it comes to comedy. What? Where we make sense to ourselves sometimes, <laughs> but not so much for the audience, dude. Well, there you go. You watch this and then you just never do that. No, I do it. I do it, and I love it too. <laughs> you like it, but not the yeah, others. Yeah, it's fun. And then okay. when you try to make fu- make sense of it, it starts to kind of make sense, and then people are laughing like kind of like nervously, not not like. As yeah, this release. is nervous yeah. laughter for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're like, oh man, damn, I relate to this. Is it going to get much. worse than yeah. this? It's, the only thing worse than this is Ethan Klein, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> there he goes. Let's see here. Why isn't it going? And my big ass just cannonballs in and fucking. <laughs> That's my man. Whoosh. Just gets gay. Whoosh. Just gets gay. Gay. <laughs> dude, gay Sea World, dude. I don't know. Let's see if he gets into it. Yeah. That, he, no, he. That's, that's. I know he said it, but is he going to elaborate? <laughs> Sorry, man. You're so distracted. No. There. No, of course not. No, I knew it. That was the punchline, dude. That was. The, that's crazy. That that's it. <laughs> gay Sea World is the punchline. So dumb. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have been great if he'd gotten into it, but just in of itself makes it more. It's just upsetting now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Redact, dude. We could have done a whole ten minutes of shop on just this clip. Yeah, I know. This is gonna be a long <laughs> riff on whatever he's trying to do here. The first person ever had a crowd after seven years. I might have to ex- escort you out of here. You might have to fucking leave, dude. I can't focus, man. Do you like Ferraris? I- oh, dude. Um, 
I was just going to say right now, he's like way more articulate on stage. Did you notice that? No. Like he's not fucking up. We're not noticing how he's fucking up words on stage, you know? Mm, maybe he's on the Rogue. Got some Rogue in oh. there. Oh. Maybe Open there's the no Kratom allowed at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they Kratom <laughs> tested him. They have one. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah, talking about handsome people. The Shab household, we can't go through in our lockdown. Done right now. I'm not going to make it out of it. <laughs> oh, no. Don't be locked down, dude. I'm just saying, if you want to lock down, I'm... I'm Nobody's gonna... laughing anymore. They're just, like, <laughs> watching this awkwardly. He posted this himself, oh my which God. is wild. Yeah. This is a long clip to post yourself. Yeah. And, dude, if they... I'm going to DM you, dude. I'm like, hey, man, I'm thinking about locking us down. What do you think, bro? <laughs> I had fucking Xbox Live, bunch of snacks. What do you eat? Like, probably not much, right? I eat, I eat sugar. You into sugar or no? You tell me. This is the second time he's done this crowd work bit. Yeah, and also it's like an extension of the Gringo Poppy. Like, mm-hmm. I hang out with my friends. We bang each other. But now he's trying to hang out with this guy and bang him. Mm-hmm. Best I mean, it did really well on Gringo Poppy. He's just doing it again. Yeah. Greatest hits. Gushers. A child Where's snack. If you're into gushers, we're fucking, dude. That's right. the punchline. I know, but I'm more concerned with the children. They, like, the <laughs> fact that he's eating gushers in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I the mean, gushers are great. Right? Tell me, like, yeah. Dunkaroos. Yeah. We're getting married. I'm going to get high blood pressure and diabetes soon. Sorry. Sure, I will lick your asshole. I'll tell you that. What the Whoa. fuck, dude? Whoa. Whoa. alert. Oh, really, dude? Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Crazy way to end it, too. Yeah, that's the end. Why are they there. laughing? At I that? don't know. These people have never had fun in their lives. They, They've they never seen comedy before, and this is the first time. Yeah, let's just say it's like a four-drink minimum, apparently. Yeah, they must be housed. Yeah, they're Or fucking... maybe they're all cats, and they're just like, can't believe that he's saying this. Oh, you're right. It's possible. Where do you think the most house... Oh, house. Where do you think the most cats are per capita in the nation? No idea. Maybe Texas. Mm, good breast brains, B. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next clip. That was a long one. This one's posted by Blockbussa, Blockbussa Buffet. <laughs> My mouth, dude. I said no idea, and then maybe Texas so fast. A little <laughs> bit of shabbish. <laughs> this one's called uh, posted by Blockbussa Buffet. It's called Always Been a Bully Bee. <laughs> Let's see here. What's he putting in there? Day seven got caught jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad meathead joke there. It's funny. Yeah. See, this is when we liked him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A bitch. I am so embarrassed. It keeps getting worse. <laughs> Tall black man said nothing. Day seven, it can't get much worse. I got caught whacking off. Okay, he repeats it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beginning of Shab. He's a little socially awkward, I think, and uh socially he awkward. Be here. Let's oh. get it. Let's Ooh. be honest. He's gonna get thrown through a glass door. <laughs> of course they're bullying each other. <laughs> <laughs> And at night, they fuck each other, right? <laughs> He's locked down with the bros, dude. Uh-oh. Yeah, what's next? <laughs> yeah, they cut out some scenes of that. Uh, that would be funny if somebody mashes it up like Ultimate Fighter uh, with that joke. being like, And at night, we <laughs> fuck each other. Oh, man. There you go. There's some catnip. Yeah. All right. So this one's posted by All I Do Is Lie To You. It's called The Show's New Overlords Have Made Them Stop Using Expletives for the Whole Show. Bapa struggles, especially with his favorite subject. Come on, Bracuni. Mm. Hit the people with what you think their favorite subject is, dude. Gay gay dudes? Yeah. It's between what? Gay dudes and blackfish, but like fish in general. Cancel culture. Oh, can- yep. Numbers. Numbers. You're right. Marketing. Let's see. Welcome to the no cuss zone. No cussing. If you guys are tuning in for cussing, then you better turn the channel. It's not what we do. Not, we are crystal clean. Not now. on this platform. <laughs> You're so weak, dude. You're like Howard Stern now. No, no, no. We used to be wild, man. No, no. Now we got a son to stop cussing. I like that they. You're still a. You're back. still a. Even in these chairs. He, did he say cuck? <laughs> I don't know. I'm. They put up the sign though. Yeah. Like Chab is the. CEO of this, he can contr- he makes the rules. I think in reference to the overlords is YouTube. I know, but he's like, now look at us, look at what, look at where we are. You did that. You yeah. could keep cussing. Yeah, nothing is stopping you from doing that. Nobody will be monetized yeah. or whatever. <laughs> now they're just gonna talk about it and draw the audience's attention to this thing that's blog bus. <laughs> but why? I don't know. Man. <laughs> why, why? You know, just your politics and stuff. Why? why? 
I didn't say Dude, that. how do you feel that your co-host now is Alex? <laughs> it's Boy, not, have the tides turned. It's not my Crowder now Jones and you. you big old bear. They're, bleeping huh? They're bleeping out Alex Jones. Uh, that's weird. So weird. You big old man. Hey, don't use that word either. We're <laughs> man. We're gonna get flagged, bro. It, there's so many. We can't even mention. <laughs> you, know, luck, you can't even mention AJ's can name. A, can you do an Alex Jones impersonation? Um, <clears throat> I have the world's biggest micro penis. Can you say Gringo Poppy is turning the frogs gay? The Gringo Poppy is turning the frogs gay. <laughs> is that good? I, that was pretty good. Oh, yeah. okay. I would try it, but my throat hurts a little bit. Try it, dude. Gringo Poppy's turning the frogs gay. Oh, yours is yeah, a I'm little not, more I'm aggressive. Not, yeah, I'm not. He's I'm a not huggable guy, dude. He's nice. <laughs> yeah, Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah. Great guy. never met him. <laughs> Let's see. You like yeah, Alex Jones, that. but not Ethan Klein. <laughs> I love Alex Jones. Ethan Klein, <laughs> Ethan Klein fucking... Alex Jones built the ground we walk on. B. Right, right, right. Ethan Klein is just a loser. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to flag us, too. Just such a relief. You can suck fuck now. Yeah. Right? Listen. Let's think of this band. Stop cussing. Is that cussing? Yeah. So. Or is that or, hey, or are those facts? Yeah. Dim the rules. Okay, can oh you not God. dim the rules? Metaphor. Can you say? Can suck you say, pipe. Can you say? Suck he pipe. He likes a Persian cucumber sa salad. Oh, no, I don't know. He's into Persian know. cucumber. No, he's into bratwurst. There you go. Yeah. Likes a little bratwurst. He eats a lot of bratwurst. There you go. Yeah, right. it's not fun, is it? Well, it's nothing like the C-O-C-K name. Oh, it's fun. You know what I mean? That, They're the taking all our fun away. I know, dude. It's because of... Um, but, with, but with Obama, I think he was edgy. like... edgy. <laughs> Shav is trying to go edgy now. Interest, interesting <laughs> move. He's playing 40 chess. He's like, dude, we're not getting watched. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like the other route, dude. Yeah. You got to watch me for what... You don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, we do. We know very well what you're going to say. We predict probably. what you're going to say. <laughs> you haven't surprised us ever. You said, only time you surprise us is when you say something so redacted yeah. that we're in a state of shock. <laughs> Good morning, Vietnam. Name the movie. <laughs> that have this surprises me. Get out that I I'm like dudes because I'm not going to be able to run for president. Think about it. He doesn't like, he wouldn't even smoke weed or drink because he wanted to be president. He's talking about Obama. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. alone sucking. Uh, well... <laughs> Can I say that? Like that? <laughs> yeah, I think that's allowed. God. Isn't it true that uh, they found like uh, gay letters from Obama? Yeah, I, I don't know. There was some Twitter article that said that he wrote something about that. And don't blame me for calling it gay letters because that's how the headline read on yeah, Google. Yeah, it was like a New York Post thing, yeah. which Brennan, I guess someone read it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, I think I like that more, me too. actually. That, is there a code that. for that? He's chipmunk? No, he's casting nuts. Squirreling up. Swan gum. Squirrel. Hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, please look at the side. Please look at the side, bro. He's swan gum. Hey, come on, dude. Look at the side, bro. Barry? Don't get his flag, bro. The old Barry Big Gulp, as we call him. Dude, him I need the money, man. Big Gulp Barry? So, like, oh but, okay. But beyond the fact that the bits aren't cleverly written, What's the difference, really? Yeah. Obama maybe said in a letter that he's thinking about having sex with men all the time or whatever the quote is. Brennan, we just watched him literally say that to a man. Yeah. Obama said it to his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Shab said it to another man. Yeah. I mean, which one? And not that it matters. <laughs> kind of says Shab. <laughs> yeah. None of this matters, but yeah. one is a little bit more uh, than the other, I would say. Yeah. Right? Both. We're just curious little cats, B. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Uh, this one's posted by All I Do Is Lie To You. It's called A Will Smith and B. Shab Story. Let's see what this is about. I, I got to say, what do you think of the new set, dude? Oh, I didn't. So redacted. I didn't even notice that this was. Oh, my God. Why would you say that publicly? Listen, they need to know I'm redacted. Okay? <laughs> Listen, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you answer the question? What do you think of the new what set? What do I think? Um, I mean, I guess it looks more modern but i think i like the other one better this is like a best the idea meaning that they're gonna have maybe more guest driven maybe my guess is that because the ratings have been falling off yeah they're trying to revamp and be like we'll try something new have on successful podcasts like whichever one this one is the football guys have them on see uh, if we get more views yeah we know celebrities. Let's try that. And dude, you know that they're gonna have zany stories about changing the set. You know what I mean? Like oh, we were yeah. we were putting the brick in here, and then a fucking owl <laughs> came out of nowhere, dude. Right? <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah. 
Check out uh, the Patreon if you want to know more about <laughs> our riffs. Well, that on was that. public. The ten minutes oh, of really? Brian Callen. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. But yeah, Patreon too. We go even further into that going, specific to topic. Money, man. What the fuck was that? Hmm. You know what? That party took all our phones. It was an Oscar party, and everyone was uh, in tuxedos. Yeah, yeah. So it, no, there's mm-hmm. no cell phones. Mm-hmm. I've been to those parties. And Will Smith asked me to. Uh, <laughs> Will Smith asked me if I did private training. <laughs> he did. Who? Mm-hmm. Will Smith was like, "Hey, man, you're the reason why you private buddy in the face." Okay. Will Smith, great reference there. The guy that slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. Private training with Brendan Schaub. And honestly, that's maybe one of the more believable lies because Will Smith is kind of crazy. Yeah. But you believe it? No. No. Okay, no, cool, cool. No. I was like, I don't know if you believe no, it. No, but I mean, Will Smith is a little bit blockbuster right now, I think. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh, the the he training. slapped, old boy. Oh, I didn't train You're with the him. reason why Chris Rock. No, I didn't train with him. He I didn't, didn't, didn't take him up on it. I get different. That's a great observation by just, Mr. Red Hat. There, yeah, dude. just a setup. <laughs> yeah. The show is just a bunch of weird setups for like riffs from a month ago, <laughs> months ago, years, years ago, ago, years dude. ago. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with you? I, I'm on Australia time, so <laughs> you can just shut up. <laughs> but what'd you man. say to him? No. Want me to hold mitts for you? You, you didn't say no. To I promise. I was a guy. Well, at the time, as a current UFC fighter, fight. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't like hold mitts, dog. If you want to put me in fucking will I whatever the fucking I am legend three I'm yeah. in, but I don't hold mitts. <laughs> you get there. And I just mitts. He just did what I did earlier. Yeah, the third instead of the second. Dude, you were, listen. I'm Australia time. Me and Shab we're on the same wavelength. Okay. Yeah. We just go a little bit farther. We see things different. You see a few women in the crowd. I see a lot of ladies tonight. <laughs> okay, Mister Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> Dip in your nachos in your nacho cheese. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's got a latex mask on you. Like, oh, fuck. I didn't plan on this. You're going to be a zombie. Can you go? <gasps> That's the vibe I got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. Yeah. Is it, Shab is basically like, what's like three levels above a zombie? <laughs> I don't know. Is that fucked up or no? Yeah. I don't know. It's very dumb. Is oh, that what okay. you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Be cool, dude. I didn't say that. <laughs> but yeah. All right, so let's go to the next clip here, dude. Oh, gosh, so many tabs. This one's called No Cosmetic Procedures for Bapa, posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. Talking about lip injections, B. You've never done that. Well, you did it once, right? No. Botox? I don't know. What the fuck would I do it for? Looks like it's, you know. <laughs> no, if any, I, need, I, I don't need to add more to my you face. I need to take filler, away. You need filler in your lips and stuff. I wish, dude. Mm-hmm. I, wish I, if I, could, I wish they could just I suck. had somebody tell me that they, they, they're they like, Brennan just gets his lips done. And I was like, what? And they go, you know, he gets his lips done. They go, got these from my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who we don't even know. Yeah. Is the dad Latino? We want to He doesn't know. get his lips done. Where would you get your lips? said you got your Botox? eyebrows and your lips done. I go, no, he doesn't. That's no, a compliment. I know. Yeah. I was like, he doesn't get his lips done. He's just. I'll have a straggler, my girl, take it off every now and then. But now I woke up like this bitch. So I CKLs. Dim, dim the rules. Dim C- the rules. You got CKLs. What? Are you looking forward to the fights this weekend? <laughs> dim, Bro, when dim did the he rules. Hear? Turn the rules yeah, down. Dim the rules. Just turn the rules down a little bit, okay? <laughs> dim it. What a dummy. Oh, whoever told them the rules to him first must feel really bad now. Yeah, they're like, every time they see it, they're like, oh, man, oh, I did fuck, that. Yeah. Also, uh, I mean, that whole thing where he, that he does where he says it's it's actually it's actually a compliment. Yeah. He does that all the time. He did that with Chris Rock stand up or whatever. It's not a compliment. <laughs> no. You should it's constructive well, it's criticism or it's just mean actually. Well, it's it's, it's not a compliment when people are saying that with pictures of you having dots on your fucking lips that look a lot like lip injection. Yeah. Fair to say most things aren't gonna be a compliment if it's been on Chang's yeah. too. But then again, we fell for the fucking bit in fish. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah. I still, I want to believe it's true, even though we've been told it's not. I think he bit the fish. <laughs> well, maybe he was hungry, B. Exactly. Uh, uh, this one's posted by Blockbuster Buffet. Again, it's called Brapa Tells Off Brian Callen in front of Alex Jones. Can't wait to hear this mm. anecdote. Oh, dude, so I, I fucked up at the dinner. I would, like, I was quiet just listening to Brian get obliterated. And I was like, I need to get into this thing. And I was wow, like, dude. Obliterated, bro. Like really drunk or just like made oh, fun of. You're right. He might not mean what we heard. He could be like <laughs> getting like shit on, like disagreed with. Like they're. Just, I was I was actually proud of him, dude. Obliterated. He said it. Oh, he said the word. Correctly. Yeah, he said it like an English you're teacher, right. dude. We have to. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Give credit job. where credit's due. Good job, Let's Brandon. hear it one more time from you, little shabby. <laughs> 
Justin and Brian get obliterated. Nice. And I was like, I need to get into this thing. And I was like, God. dude, uh, DeSantis, I heard he has funding from George Soros. And mm-hmm. I was like, what'd you say? I'm like, <laughs> what? Why would you he goes, what'd that? you say? And then it was like, <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, back on Callan. He's a like cuck. Just- <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, Shab did pretty good in that. Yeah. Like, the Alex Jones impersonation was better than what I did. <laughs> yeah. Dude. So that was a clip where he nailed it. Yeah, I have the world's smallest micro penis or something like that. Um, <laughs> nice, Joy, Joy oh, yeah. Diaz, uh, Alex Jones, <laughs> Joey Jones, Jones Diaz. Uh, all right, this one's posted by Lightcha Up B. It's called Diddler. Very uh, weird title, just one word. Huh. Let's see. Like that from the girl who played Wednesday. Yes. Oh, oh whatever. Her Jenny Ortega. Jenny Ortega. Jenny Ortega. Yeah. Great series. Am I right? You didn't no, get it. No. The fact that they got nominated for 13 Emmys. It's, it's great. so good. It's so oh, it's original. not that good. Right? It is. Did you see it? Hey, dude. No. Yeah. Listen, you, you. He has to pretend not to like it. Yeah. He knows what it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kid. Oh, really, dude? Yeah, you didn't yeah. see it? <laughs> it's a minute 46. That's so funny. <laughs> It's such a it's a long clip of creepiness. <laughs> Let's see, like shows about movies about lambs, lambs that turn into devils <laughs> or whatever. You don't get a vote. Good. It was good. No, you don't no, get you a don't vote. Get, no, no, no. You, you don't get a vote. He shouldn't vote. He should pretend like he's never seen it or heard of it. You're right. He should have. He should be a felon, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't watch shows in prison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! See, you bitched out. It was, it was, it was good. It was good. No, you don't believe it. That's fucking fantastic. Breaking Bad's big, but Tulsa King ain't shit compared to Wednesday. Because you know how it's big Wednesday fucking, is because it's Jenny Ortega, dude. What? Mm, those both names be mm. dicey, dicey. Right, that's her name, right? Yeah. yeah. Because the Adams. Right. <laughs> she was I know, but you, in it. so good, bro. You, le, man. Let me just. It was fantastic. Let me set something straight for you, dude. Okay. You can't be. Are you doing legs, daddy? Yeah, I am, dude. Ah, sorry. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, he doesn't mind chop touching him every now and again now. Well, they're all black belts in there, so they can defend themselves. Oh, yeah. The podcast comes first. You're right, B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Je- my God. Je- Jenny. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you could. <laughs> oh, no. Any eyeballs. Hey. hey. So bad. Oh, I forgot. The came down with the flu. And That's how he knows her. Print. So no screening. Today. You. Th- so. This might get gadooshed for sure. Oh, well, he was in you with her. and Yeah. Now, okay, I take all, th- all I said back. But to see the ungadooshed version, join the Patreon. Right. Here, <laughs> I'll, I'll call you an Uber. Wait, dude, I came all this way. I can show you my short. It's still in progress, but... It- Listen, we're friends, and it's cool. You use a good show. I mean, you're massively yeah. cool, but you're also 15, so we're not hanging out in my house alone. Okay, neurotic. I'm not some random girl child. And you said for weeks you would watch my short. Mm. All right, fine. But you have to promise me you're not going to tell anybody that you were here alone with me, okay? Because it's kind of... I get it. I'm a vault. Scout's honor. Huh. This is his clever trick to make her feel safe like she chose. Oh, no, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh. <laughs> well, that clip might have got gadooshed at the end, but yeah. it was just shot from uh, you. You can just, if the phrase dicey, dicey, just think of that. Yeah. <laughs> dicey little section there, dude. What, what's your thoughts on that? Thoughts on what? The clip? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> dicey topic. Good little uh, dish there, right? Yeah, funny. All right, so this one's posted by Khabib Time. It's called Vince McMahon Discovers the Menu at Gringo Poppies. Let's see. Wibbles and chills. Turn <laughs> 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 Damn, dude, that kind of made me want to go to salsa and beer. Yeah. Ever heard of it? Ever heard of it? Oh, dude, I got to say that uh, I never was a wrestling. Were you into wrestling growing up? When I was a kid, yeah. Okay, I was never into wrestling, but there is this one clip I saw on Instagram mm-hmm. about this one guy that would never fight but just offer girls to the other wrestlers and they would just <laughs> bow out of the fights. I don't know who this is, but it was hilarious. Okay, yeah, I don't remember that guy. It sounds like a great guy. I never met him. Never met him personally, but uh, let's talk about this guy, uh, Gazelle Firm, 8510. He posted, what about the baddies, though? Uh-oh, this is my favorite topic, dude. Let's see. A cup of coffee a day. Did you have any withdrawals from the Adderall? Addiction? No, <laughs> man, I'm not a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know. I have like, no, I'm speechless. I have nothing for that. That is crazy. Good morning, <laughs> Vietnam. 
Oh. Yeah, it hasn't. I mean, yeah, you haven't had withdrawal because you haven't stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy way to not have a withdrawal. Just keep doing it. I, absolutely, I did. I said, my, I, bra- my brain was so messed up. Oh, I see. Oh, dude. Yeah. Nightmare. Nightmare. Is that, is that the reason? Though? I can't believe I got through that. Yeah. Speaking of Russian pipeline. It was hard, huh? Yeah, the hardest. Really? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> really tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat that night, foggy brain during the day. Yep. Well, guess what? Wiener Brian, still worked though. Daddy decided to eat a bunch Wiener of Wiener still worked. Yeah, I bet it did with all the dig juice oh you're taking. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Do you think he ever uh, accidentally hits up Mark still without realizing they don't talk anymore? You know, no, he's probably got a new Mark. Mark, dig juice. If he texts him by accident, that would be a big mistake. <laughs> yeah. But he's capable of it, I guess. Now I think about it. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next clip. This one's posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. It's called. A convo about power slap league leads to discussing Bappa's status with Dana White. Ooh. What I wouldn't pay to fucking watch Brendan Schaub slap somebody, right? <laughs> I do. I will go back to that, and I will say you should see it live. It is a wild. It's a wild. Why thing haven't you seen it live? And I see what you guys are doing here, and I like it. I like it. It's dude. No, I would go. I, I'm, I'm not, not going to get the invite. Most, it's an I'm not allowed in the building. Sport on TikTok. You and Dana are. Are, are, are you guys? We're fine. I That's give him sad. more compliments than anything. Oh, really? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it just, if you're a fighter, you should know that Dana White is the president of the UFC, doesn't give a flying fuck about your health. And for Dana, like, <laughs> that's your boss, man. He sanctions things. He's the face of it. He's the one that brought this to the table. A man who's going to do that, you think he gives a fuck about your well-being when you retire from the UFC? Mm. This guy's trying to squeeze every dime he can oh. out of human... <laughs> well, I'll, here's what I'm going to say about this. Yeah, I know we don't matter, mm-hmm. but it makes me feel good that Shab says him and Dana are cool after saying all this stuff because maybe after all the stuff we've done, he could be cool with us. Oh, dude, your best brains be... But you know what, though? We're not fucking 100 millionaires. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's no, yeah, there's no drawl for us. Yeah. We're billionaires. Thanks to all the patrons. Yeah. I mean, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean look at that. I mean, the math speak for themselves, yeah. folks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a new power drill too. I mean, we're going to be slinging dick with this shit. Yeah. dude. <laughs> Better watch out, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, let's see the cock fighting. Oh, what does this say? You put on a pair of designer jeans and some hip sneakers and think you're cool. You still a dork with a frat bro vocabulary. Okay. That's boom. F- uh, you're not. Oh my God! I thought there was an N word. You're a low budget Vince McMahon. Oh my gosh, dude. Dana cried late that night. Let's see. Need I remind you? Your origin story is a failed cardio kickbox instructor who had two rich friends in high school to fund his business. I mean, these That's are serious like insults, yeah. dude. So yeah. I think we're good. Oh yeah. No, I mean, also too, we buy your merch, dude. Yeah. Well, we don't, but Brandon does. It gets to us. How yeah, about yeah, that? That's yeah. true. I mean, we because of us, merch is bought. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some sales that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for our love of you and your stand up, right? Exactly. There we that's, go. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. He might have an issue. I feel like with Dana, it's you're fine or you're, you're great or you're not. Yeah. I'm fine. I have no issues with him whatsoever. <laughs> if he, if he called me, was like, "Hey, can you cover this?" I'd whatever he wants. Uh, you guys cover power but then again, you uh, cut to him and Ariel Hawani. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where he's like, "Ariel is the best best in the game," but uh, so apparently talking shit about him at every fucking turn he gets. Yeah. You know what I mean? Both ways. Can never trust classic this guy. both ways situation. Which you know what, too, dude? He's probably not gay then, because hmm. he's joking. You're right. He's never serious. You know. Yeah. yeah. He's never telling the truth, dude. He's not unlike the Joker. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> would you? Yeah, I have no issue with it. And you would go and you would feel that. <laughs> he bet. Yeah, this shit is kind of. Yeah, maybe. Like, I, I quit knocking when it first came out. Like me and the boys, the group chat was lit. Huh. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "That makes more sense." Yes. Yeah. <laughs> makes more sense. <laughs> he gets the quote wrong. <laughs> so funny oh what do you think about that clip dude i mean i said it yeah yeah (laughs) okay Uh, all right this one's posted by haphazard again it's called the origin of chin we had to the the stream labs is being dicey today so i had to go to a different page Let's see Thank you for your about. work ethnic. <laughs> right, right. Naming right. your kid anniversary or like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, right? What about Chin? <laughs> chin. chin. Yeah, just if it's consider a boy, it. If it's an Asian consider. boy, name him Chin. 
<laughs> yeah, but this is but isn't like yeah. <laughs> do they is there are there, what are the modern Asian names anyway? By the way, Chin, I made that damn name up. My oh. name is my name is Jin, but my friends. Oh! And I, <laughs> oh, it's you could have picked anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? <laughs> you, you 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 don't act like you my went friends from in Jin Texas. to Chin. Yeah, it was the dumbest you decision. I know. Unimaginative motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, my new name's gonna be he's been, Derek. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's just mispronouncing his real name. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that's not any less Asian. It's yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's cooler. Jin is cooler than Chin, right? Yeah, Jin is cool. Yeah, yeah. I messed up. Yeah, I mean, Chin's not not cool, but I, it's Jin is cool. <laughs> it's, a, it's a facial feature. It's like whatever. Yeah. That's hilarious. Chin. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Um, so your name did you Jin. know that? That's super funny. You didn't know that? <laughs> I knew it wasn't his real name. I didn't know it was Jin. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I th- I'm not Asian, obviously, but I if yeah. I and I can't really know what he's thinking. But I think the worst podcast to be on if you're an Asian producer is probably the Golden Age. <laughs> you're just never gonna get the respect yeah. you deserve. <laughs> Anytime you talk about anything, you're gonna get like weird. Asian jokes and like the people are going to make fun of your name and get it wrong all the time and choke you out. Yeah. That's just not, not the place for a smart young, um, is it what race, what uh, ethnicity is he? Um, smart young Asian man. I'll yeah. go with that. Cause I don't know. I think, I think he said he was Korean, Korean at one point. So for mm. a smart young Korean man, not the best producer yeah. uh, position to have. Brendan Childs walking in and calling you Jamal every other day. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Worst job your life. Yeah. <laughs> Worst job your life. All right. This one's posted by Haphazard. It's called Not Sure How the Advertisers Stick Around with Reads Like This. Do you think it's a good way or a bad way? <laughs> Let's see. A DraftKings Sportsbook with the code FIGHTER. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLE. New York call 877-8-HOPE-NY on text HOPE-NY-467-369 in West Virginia. Visit www.1800gambler.net in partnership with Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races. All games regulated by the West Virginia Lottery. Uh, Please play responsibly in Connecticut. It's available for problem gambling at 888-789-7777 or visit... Or seven days after issuance. Uh, eligibility and deposit mm. restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash MMA terms. Uh, do you want to start off? <laughs> oh, they put that at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, you know, because I hope we never want or need money that bad that we have to do yeah. that, that kind of stuff because, like, sometimes I got a big headache while I'm recording it yeah. or, like, I'm tired from prepping and doing other things for hours, you know? So these guys have like seven shows. Yeah. I understand, but it's just the it's they chose to read these long gambling addict things and create them and all these like yeah. ad reads you'd give to the people who've been canceled. Like I oh, always we just yeah. thought too like those ad reads for gambling, they must pay really good because they take up a lot of space on podcast dude. <laughs> right? Maybe. Yeah, they might. I don't know. Probably. Um but yeah, like you were saying, I'm so glad we don't have to do that. Yeah. I mean, there probably will be a day where oh. we start reading ads. Oh, we want money. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for now, it's like, this is so fun. It's like yeah. uh, doing the ad stuff is kind of like blockbuster, in my opinion. Unless you guys get more on the Patreon, then no ads, maybe. Oh, yeah, dude. If we keep getting Patreon subscribers, I don't think we'll ever go to ads. Yeah, maybe. there's no reason to be uber rich. Yeah. We want so many patrons that we put ads on our Patreon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, all yeah. right. This next one's posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. It's called Barn Doors Attempted Slight on Dana White Gets Gadoosh. I think we already watched this, so let's see if it's the same thing. But I'll say this. Dana we will is- absolutely put ads on the Patre- uh, this, the Spotify. <laughs> oh, if we yeah. ever reload oh, another yeah. episode, yeah. there will be ads. If we ever <laughs> load another episode. It's like... <laughs> He's a man holding my hand as I'm gambling my own money. He's yeah, Dana's not that deal. generous. Yeah, he's not gonna be like, "Here, no. Taylor, here's listen, you know, he's pretty generous. generous. He's generous, dude. I was. <laughs> you guys down, have to say that. I was yeah. down at one point three hundred thousand dollars. He's generous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. generous. Oh, I hear that. Say that number. Bro, I hate when somebody just won't listen, dude. Just like, just listen to the story. You don't have to fucking call somebody out on lying, right? You know, he's a fucking liar. So he's like, he thinks he has really good lidar, dude. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? that's a good, a hey, best brains moment Thank you, for bro. you there. That's why I said it. <laughs> I, I was down at one point of this night. This is a week ago, three hundred thousand dollars. You gotta stay. At the now I've told you how much I've won. So there's, I can in my psychopathic mind, I can say, oh, I'm. That's up where there. I'm at. I'm down at some point three hundred thousand dollars. There are slappies sitting at this table with us, like with fourteen, fifteen on the table, not hitting. And then Dana goes, he gets a ten, and then he bus obviously then i'm up i get the seven he needed shit like that's happening all night he leans back to me he's like hey take 
45 minutes. Just relax. When this starts to slow down a little bit, you and I will go back. As he's making his comeback, because he's down worse than I am, he's taking some of his winnings, $15,000 in chips, $30,000 in chips, and he's essentially tossing it to me. Oh, that's generous. Saying, like, you go ahead and do this. Uh, dude, throughout the night, he probably gave me over $100,000 in chips just to save this me. That's the kind of, that's kind of human man. being this Dana White is. This is. He's a, good a man. fantastic human being. This is a good man. Generosity. And I still fucking lost. I didn't lose $300,000, but, you, but I, I lost. lost. Wow. Dang. Dana White kind of got to suck up to him uh, a little bit in these clips, I think. Oh, most yeah. Of, most of the people start, on the show. I'll cut this part out, but we should start like complimenting him a lot. Yeah, Dana White, slang, he's one of those ball guys I know that slangs dick. Yeah. He's a great guy. Uh, and if he ever wants to gamble with me, give me a bunch of chips and stuff, I'll play with him for a while. I probably won't play. I'll just try and exchange the chips for money. Yeah, honestly, I don't want to ever play with that kind of money because <laughs> then I'll just be like, give me some more, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. This one's called Bapa Can't Say Bussin' with the Boys and Other Redactedness, posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. He's really coming through with the chins clip. I'm pretty sure somebody in this room, I'm not going to say names, said something like Bussin' with the Bros. That's his little. It's his. Little I always. Thing. It's my. That's your thing. That's like, no, that's I, 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 It's something. I don't. It has he, to be a mental. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, he just shut the fuck up sometimes, dude. Yeah, he can't control himself. He just goes. <laughs> yeah. He just goes B. Block. That's that UFC. I'm, I'm, no, you know what happened? <laughs> you know what? I think it's more football than UFC. <laughs> you you yeah. think so? Yeah. Bubba. That was the Buffaloes? Yep. And you're headed oh, down the stairs. Oh, crap. No, oh, dude. Welcome to your future, oh, Daddy. No, no, yeah. no. A little longer <laughs> than a few minutes later. How, <laughs> how bad is Jelly crushing it, bro? Dude, he's Murder. murdering it. Arena. Murdering it. I mean, we're talking about like Steve Burns. Like, Joey who? I don't know. Okay. He's another Dude, good guy, man. When Jelly first, uh, the we met oh, Jelly the day he oh, came. Oh, Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Oh. How could we forget, dude? Ever heard of him? Yeah. Come on. How bad? Can you imagine saying that to somebody, a friend? Dude, how bad is Jelly crushing it? <laughs> and they immediately know who you're talking about? <laughs> who? This makes me suspicious of these two. Yeah. You guys listen to Jelly Roll? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> is everyone in the do you have to like yeah. blow into a redact meter to enter the studio yeah. like whoosh, they both blew in it and it was like green <laughs> all right have a way have your way in redact have you are seat. over the legal limit to drive but you're good to do a podcast <laughs> yeah dude you have to be drunk to like jelly roll probably yeah. you know it would be worse than jelly roll is if ethan climbed me music that would be pretty bad <laughs> there dude. he goes yeah. on his painted narrative over there <laughs> i'm with Dio. On in the, I brought Jelly yeah, there. Brought jelly. Je you, when jelly was in the big, show. and Jelly goes, "Man, I love Bustle and the Bros." Bustle and the Bros. And he, Jelly's <laughs> been my boy way before he blew up. And I go, "Come with me." He goes, "No, nah, you think they'll have me on?" I'm like, "At least come meet them, and then after that, get their number." Yes. He's like, "You think they'll have me on?" I'm like, "Yeah, dude. I know they're, they're, they're my guys." Mm. I <laughs> forced Jelly to come with me and pushed them on you guys. <laughs> what the fuck? Tool <laughs> <laughs> transgression Shop is behind everything. These <laughs> yeah. are. Somehow they destroy you. Well, why don't you cry about it? <laughs> if you hadn't met me, you'd never meet Jelly Roll. Yeah. <laughs> I made you guys. <laughs> How many careers do you think Brendan Chobb has started, dude? Nobody cared about me before I brought out the role. <laughs> How many careers has he started? Uh, in his mind, not truly. In like any facet? Yeah. Like every one? Mm -hmm. Nine million. Oh, eight inches. <laughs> Got him. Boat alert. <laughs> All right. So this one's tall. This one's talled. Fuck. This one's called uh, Will is talking about what he misses about the NFL days. And here comes Bapa posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. Let's see. Like when you're in it, it was the best. Yeah. But when you, you know how it is, like you're just you're just like chasing something with a like minded individuals. You're in a melting pot. The locker room is the fucking. That's best. what I miss. I miss the boys. We're yeah, I miss the. We and we don't have that now. Yeah, yeah, when I first got in comedy, we had that, and it was like it filled this. Oh, I think this is the same clip, right? I don't know. Huge gap. Yeah. And it was like, oh, this here it is. I found yeah. my. Yeah. Yeah. My pack. My wolf pack. Miss this is redacted. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you got boys in comedy, dude? Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Boys, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then pandemic kids. They've been on the show. JT, oh yeah, That's my boy Luke Schwartz, Luke Schwartz, daddy. Jay Light, Jay Light, great guy. Never met him. Yeah, and everyone goes their separate ways. Yeah, and so in LA, the comedy scene's done as far right. as like for the, us. the comedy rap pack. Like it's just not the hangs, yeah. not there anymore. It sucks. But it, that 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 used to fill the void. Now sucks. sucks. <laughs> yeah, well, that's post LA Times for Brian right there. Pri yeah, pre LA Times, post <laughs> LA Times. 
that that's gone, it's tough. So yeah. what, what's keeping you here? Why don't great, you, great point. Why, why don't you go to Austin? Why don't you go to these places that everyone's kind of we, moving we're, to? We're talking about things like that, but we, you know, we still have some stuff Fuck. going on here. And don't leave. <laughs> They're like, I guess they keep doing content, but it just makes me nervous. Walk, don't run to Austin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want. I hopefully they come by uh, T uh, Timo Studios before they leave. Yeah, stop and, by uh, before you on, on your way out. Yeah, not really, but no. yeah, but no. I think, uh, but uh, but I, my, my thing is with Austin is when everybody's doing that, I don't want to do that. Does that make sense? Like, if I move to Texas, I'm going to like Fort Worth. Where I, where, where I can yell at people stepping on my lawn. Like, I want yeah. Texas, Texas. I think Austin's more liberal than here. Like, I'm not going to move somewhere that's liberal. In Austin, place. I can go you get can flavor find, nicotine. You can find. If on the outskirts. Find circles. Yeah. I went to two gas stations yesterday, and they didn't have flavored nicotine. You want flavored nicotine? Yeah. But what are you doing? It, it, Texas is, is <clears throat> sun hot. It's too hot. I don't mind that. Dude, it's, what? I mean... You're, you want to leave Los Angeles because we don't have flavored nicotine? Be that's cool, the biggest, Cooney. <laughs> that's the biggest thing. I know you love vaping, but are yeah. you going to leave? Dude, mango nicotine in Nevada cost $15 for uh -huh. a four-pack of Jewel uh -huh. Pods. Is that way less? Oh, yeah, dude. How much does it cost here? $26 All for right. non-flavored Even nicotine. as a numbers guy, I realize it's a lot. Yeah. And, and you don't have to. I know that vape is great. I've tried it. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to do it because I don't. I'm not addicted to nicotine, so I don't have to. But uh, and I know it's great, but like you gotta have more of a reason to leave. If you're gonna shit on LA, there's gotta be something other than flavored nicotine. I agree, but not really, because the nicotine prices you could like start a whole life with how much you have to spend out here. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, you are addicted to it, so I yeah. guess there's that. But I still stand by <laughs> <laughs> Bible hot. Man. I don't mind that biblical, yeah. dude. You just got you got locusts. You got it's a hundred and five degrees. It was a hundred and five here yesterday, boat. Well, I guess I live closer to the beach. Yeah, that ocean Slight breeze flex. on me. I yeah. mean, you're not on the beach. When I just, really, you really when can't I just sprints on the, the sand. Do you guys have a minute? Um, <laughs> I mean, you're more in Redondo, but we'll call it Manhattan Beach. Hey, bro, <laughs> Redondo State Prison. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what did you think about that, Cliff? Uh, kind of redacted. I mean, I'm always intrigued to hear about the pe people talking about moving to Austin. That's yeah. like right down my alley. I oh, love, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I want to. We want to go visit. Yes. you know, say hello. We heard someone at the mothership was talking to our guy Jay Light about us. I don't know if they're a fan or not. And I don't know if Jay Light's lying. That's true, <laughs> Jay Light. All he does is lie to you. So. <laughs> no, no I'm kidding. Uh, all right. Well, let's go to this one. This one's called. Uh, Bapa compares his comedy chops to Chris Rock <laughs> via another bullshit story. It's posted by uh, Organic Possession 53. Let's see here. Oh, fucking streamables is being blocked by so, so I got it over here. Right. All right. Let's see what this is about. When you say that, that's that's a compliment. Oh, that's this such is that a compliment. Chris Rock one. It's the same thing. I've had people go shop doesn't write his jokes. There's no way they come to the show. And then Mark tell me, yeah, this guy, you know, thinks you have someone writing your jokes. I'm like, damn, that's a compliment, dude. They think, I, what do they think? Chris Rock writing him? Chris Rock writing him? Chris Rock writing <laughs> What's going on with his jacket? <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, that's dope. I'm never like, what? That's ridiculous. No, dude. Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah. You think somebody else is doing that? That's dope, dude. He's like, because the jokes I write fucking suck, dude. <laughs> But I'm I'm focused on the jacket. He looks like Thanos. It's like a Thanos jacket on. It's like up in the back. It's yeah. all big and stuff. Purple, purple. Yeah, he's got what he's got rings over there. He's correct collecting uh, yeah. Thanos rings. That's great. Infinity stones. I mean, it's a good show. It was so good. You think somebody else is writing it? Hell yeah, dude. No, it's this bad. Is great. This is fantastic. It's not so Jake. Same thing. We think exact it's bad, same. but we think someone else wrote it. Because even bad, it's like, well, Shab doesn't know what that word means. Yeah. Shop doesn't know who Sacagawea is. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. If you know who Sacagawea is, say who she is right now, Shop. That's what I would say. <laughs> and he would be like, uh. He's just looking in the phone being like, be cool, dude. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't even be able to Google search it to figure it out. <laughs> he, he starts spelling it with the CH. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't know how to spell it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So this one's posted by Blockbuster Buffet. Dude, this is a long episode. We got a lot of clips today. Yeah. A lot of content this week, B. This one's called Diddler and Montez ignoring Bapa, <laughs> but I thought he wasn't there this week. Oh, I'm right sure there. it's great, but when I drive by a billboard that says the most important piece of art I've seen in years, I'm not watching I go either. like this. 
fuck me in the mouth. <laughs> That's how, fuck me in the mouth. That's how I feel about the USA Be, great show. soccer team. I'm sure it's great. It was but great come show. on, bro. Yeah. Fuck me in the mouth. But they have, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at parroting. He's like a good, like, second guy yeah. that'd be like, ah, the yeah. most. Yeah. Yeah, like radio Sometimes voice. You need somebody. To yeah. Do that, I guess. That's who I am, B. <laughs> I'm going to go home and uh, turn on the, the, the shower and cry. <laughs> I, I don't know where I was going to end with that sentence. That's a painted narrative if <laughs> yeah. I've ever heard one. All right. This one's uh, called Any Chance Barn Door Ran. Oh, we already watched this, huh? Let's right, just we'll skip that, that one. one yeah. uh, this one's called, uh, this is the last clip of the day. It's posted by Access Spend. It's called What It Looks Like to Owe Brad 10KG which 10 K grand thousands. Yeah. Uh, also what it looks like not to pay Bradley. So just the title itself was kind of clickbaity. I wanted to see what it was about. Right. What do you think? Uh, if you can guess what's going to happen, something about the 10,000 that job. Well, lost. no shit. Sherlock. Oh, wait, like read the title one more time. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I, I already closed it. Um, uh, well, yeah. then I have no guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's going to come for that money. Let's see. I can't wait to win that money, man. That's all I'm thinking about. Oof. It feels good. It's always good taking that, like, not from, a, like, sports betting, but, like, from a friend. Yeah, it's nice. You know, because you can watch me spend it. I'm also excited, dude. Yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> I'll just think, like, a few of your car payments, I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, like, dog, This is I mine you, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. mine. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Bruce How about Walker, we got man. 10 Gs on the main event? That's, That's all I can ridiculous. Do. I'm trying to have fun. Um, hopefully next time he's at my gym. So, yeah, we're going. Brandon, I'm coming for that money. Oh, shit. I'm coming for that money. I'm coming for that money for real. You better pay me. Everyone heard it. I can't tell if it's a bet or not. <laughs> but he hasn't paid so many people. It takes a while, you know. Yeah. Papa's got, he's got a lot. He's got a lot to do before he gives you the money that he owes you. How long would it take for you to pay somebody 10k on a lost bet? I'm not gonna bet that kind of money unless I'm gonna. But yeah, no, I would just. I don't think I've ever. We, I, I don't know if I've ever transferred over that kind of money to yeah. anybody. If it ain't in writing, I'm switching states. B. <laughs> Gerard, <laughs> there you go. Gerardo's not going to pay you back. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Well, We're that's all our, a little bit like Shab, dude. Yeah. So you, we have different aspects that are like Shab. And think about yours this week. Put them in the comments. Yeah. See ya. <laughs>